Okay, let's take a look now at the Reinforce Your Skills and Apply Your Skills section of Chapter 8. I'd like to give you a few hints on these areas because there are a few little tricky things here. First of all, what they want us to do is to record the prepaid storage rent, record the payment of a remodel, which is a fixed asset, and set up a petty cash account, and finally set up a budget. It tells us the contractor has completed the remodel of Puppy Love Pampered Pooch reception area to accommodate displays of merchandise Sadie plans to sell and allow for additional grooming room in the new year. Sadie has rented a storage container for three months to store the merchandise and new grooming equipment while she waits to install the shelving and display posters. Okay, first of all, in the Reinforce Your Skills section 8-1, you're going to be recording a prepayment. This is nothing all that complicated, except you're going to have to create a new account. You can reference page 161 um, to give you um, a little bit more background. That's in the Develop Your Skills section to help you do this. Um, let's see, so she left a rental agreement on your desk. It's for the storage container for three months. She used check number 10021 to pay $225 to Torres Lock and Store. Now, if your check numbers don't exactly match up to that, no worries. In this exercise, you will record the payment for the storage container and put an asterisk near this for yourself. You will need to add the vendor and you're going to need to add an account on this. So um, you're going to click on the new button, then vendors check. Okay, when it comes down to creating the account, I gave you a little bit more detail here. The account type is going to be other current asset. The detail type is going to be prepaid expense. And the account name is going to be prepaid storage. Okay, and so that's going to cover three months um, of, of rental storage. Then in 8-2, you're going to be recording a fixed asset purchase. This, and you can reference page 164 on how to, to record the purchase of fixed assets. Um, here, this is Shiloh Construction. Um, let's see. You're going to record the uh, ch check number 10022. Again, if your check numbers don't exactly match, that's fine. There's the date. In this exercise, you will record the payment for the fixed asset purchase. And again, it says add a vendor and account as needed. So you're going to have to add the vendor um, Shiloh Construction. And you're going to have to add the account um, remodel. So the account type is going to be fixed asset. The detail type is going to be lease old improvements. And the account name is going to be remodel. I wanted to give you those hints because it's not really all that clear. Now let's take a look at 8-3. You're going to set up a petty cash account. You can reference page 166 in the Develop Your Skills section. Uh, not too much to tell you here except that when you make this payment to the petty cash cashier, it's going to be out of the bank account, LA City Bank. You're going to have to create the petty cash account as well. The account type is bank. The detail type is cash on hand, and the name of the account is Petty Cash. In Re Reinforce Your Skills 8-4, you can reference page 169 for this. Um, this is not a big deal here. Later, in the Apply Your Skills, you're going to be using that Excel um, download or upload. But right now, you're just setting up the format for the budgets, and that's pretty straightforward here. Okay, now on to apply your skills, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky because they aren't really clear on things here, and I wanted to hopefully lend some clarity. It does say apply your skills exercises gives you a chance to figure things out on your own, but you do need a little direction here. Okay, so we've got three things going on here that we're going to take care of in apply your skills one and two. Um, prepaid salon rent. Now this happened back on Ju um, July 30th, check 1005. That was actually page 40 in chapter 2. You paid for, I believe it was September, start the rent starting September, even though you paid it on July 30th, and it covered six months. So what you're going to have to do is do an adjusting entry 
and then a recurring adjusting entry in the Apply Your Skills 1-8 section. Then there's going to be prepaid storage rent that you just recorded in the Reinforce Your Skills on page 175, and you're going to create another recurring journal entry. And then you're going to create a recurring journal entry for Los Angeles City Bank. And finally, you're going to be uploading that um, Excel file with budget figures. Okay, first of all, 8-1. You can reference pages 162 and 163 for creating adjusting entries and then recurring um, adjusting entries. So in this exercise, you will create the journal entry to expense the prepaid rent on Sadie's salon and make it recurring for six months. So this is actually two steps. In step one, you're recording just the September expense by creating a journal entry for one-sixth of the prepaid salon rent. Now that happened in Apply Your Skills 2-1 on page 40. You wrote a check and paid $3,300. It covers six months beginning in September. So what you have to do is an adjusting journal entry, taking it out of prepaid expenses and putting it into rent and lease expense. I kind of put this information down here. So the AYS 8-1, the first adjusting journal entry you're going to make is for September only. Take the full amount of the rent for six months, divide by six to get a an amount per month, and then you're going to do an adjusting entry for the 550. You'll need to reduce prepaid expenses, that's the name of the account, and you're going to transfer that 550 into rent and lease expense. In part two, what you're doing is making that journal entry for September recurring for the remaining five months. So create a recurring expense journal entry for 550 for the last day of each month for October through February. So make the journal entry from September in step one a recurring journal entry or your choice is to create a separate um, recurring journal entry one or the other. Again reference pages 162 and 163. In the third step, this is the transaction that you just recorded on page 175, the Reinforcer Skills 8-1, where you paid $225 for three months of storage rent, October, November, and December. And they want you to do a recurring expense journal entry for one-third of the 225, which is 75. Make it for the last day of each month for the following three months. So it has to be for the end of October, end of November, end of December. Create a recurring adjusting entry. Reduce prepaid storage, that was the account you put it into, and charge rent, rental and lease expense. Okay, feel free to email if you have any questions on that. In the Apply Your Skills 8-2, this is the third recurring journal entry you're going to make. In this exercise, you will record automatic payment of the loan payable for September. You should have $5,000 loan payable from your August 7th transaction that you recorded. So, record the first transfer on September 25th for $209. Now, the account you're going to take it out of is your checking account, LA Citibank. And then you're going to create the recurring transfer for the following 22 months. So this is going to occur monthly on the 25th of every month and you're going to end after 22 months. Okay, so that's going to be on the, um, it's going to, going to occur as part of your recurring trans transactions. You will not have to do this part. I can just look at your recurring transaction list. So you will not have to create that and upload that to me. Okay, so in all then, you have three recurring transactions. The one you create here in Apply Your Skills 8-1 Step 2. The one you create in Apply Your Skills 8-1 Step 3. And the one that you create in Apply Your Skills 8-2 Step 2. The last thing you'll do is Apply Your Skills 8-3. And this is where you upload the budget worksheet 
it's in Excel and you're going to find that in the chapter 8 folder in Blackboard. So if you have any questions feel free to email me or join in on one of our Zoom office, um, office hours. Have a great day.